Hello and welcome to another R&DW Adventures. I'm Renee. And I'm Daryl. And today we are, it's not a treat box, but like the treat boxes, we have a box of Turkish munchies. So this was one that uh, we got from Amazon on one of those uh, uh, New Year's Day sales or whatever. And we've had our eye on it. It's been in the uh, cart and more in the shopping list. But, you know, right. it's been one of those gift ideas because it's a big box of a variety of things from Turkey. So we haven't opened the box. We've taken the nutritional information and they want us to enjoy. Uh, but we've taken the nutritional information out. One thing I like about this the box comparatively is it has an expiration date. like clearly Yes, it labeled. definitely has. And we're recording this still in January, so you know we got this box and are immediately opening it for freshness. But I will let you have a look at the Turkish munchies. So we have our Vio Choco Source cake. Vio. So this is like a lava cake thing. I don't see that on here. Choco Source. It right there. No? No. I don't know. Not on here. Bollock uh, crackers. These are like goldfish crackers, I gather, because it's got a goldfish on it. So more like savory. These look like onion rings. But they're supposed to Olker, be... Olker Smitty something or other. Susami. Susami cracker. Um, it's sesame. Oh, these are sesame? Ses and almost rings. all. Oh. Turkish people love sesame. Almost all our bagels are covered with sesame, which we call geverk, which means crispy or simit. Mm. Okay. okay. And then we've got pizza crackers. So that's all savory. That's, oh, here's the butter. We have uh, little gummy burgers, I think. Yes, Asmo burgers. Asmo hamburger is a funny snack for kids and adults. Okay. It's hamburger shaped biscuits filled with chocolate cream. Also, uh, we have some like gummies yuppo. These are just like gummy bears. Okay. We've got uh, nuts party. These are like seasoned nuts. Okay. We have like a fruit bread kind of thing. A pot. Pot. Poti. Potty. <laughs> Poti cakes. Either carrot, coconut, fruit, or chocolate flavored. I'm not sure I'm what these are. Carrot. These are. Uh, Lati Cristura. Yeah, I'm guessing it looks like these are actually a savory, but I'm not sure. I don't see them on here. Oh, we got some tiny little uh, candies. Aww. Oh, oh Eski Excuse. We translate its name. It will spoil the surprise. Just go ahead and try one. <laughs> <laughs> and then but, uh, Sin. But wait, with this one, it also says. Uh, public service announcement, PSA. Surprise awaits you for the first 10 seconds as soon as it's as started as you start chewing it. Oh. <laughs> Alright, and then we've got their version of Pop Rocks, Pop apparently. Rocks. Oh, this More potty cakes? No, today. <gasps> oh, a stroop waffle. Yeah, it's like a stroop waffle. So that was going to make uh, Renee very happy. I like those. Wow, this is wow, it's truly so, an like epic a box. Cash box. Horses. We've got some, yeah, horbs, hobes. Hobs. <laughs> they're uh, some kind of uh, cookie. Yeah, I can't find them if they're on here. Most crispy of the stuff. taco. They're little uh, snack sticks. Cool. Oh, maybe that cake is our mystery snack. We sometimes include a mystery snack. Well, maybe. And then Greta. These are uh, um, uh, some like. Um, the Turkish, olive season, it's, it's, uh, olive oil season things. It's it, it is the Asian representation of Turkish snacking world. It represents tradition spanning way back to Greek police cities, which is now Turkish a uh, Turkish soil. And then we've got uh, biskola, which looks like the uh, pocky sticks. It is olive oil. All right, then we have the cat cat tam tap tap. tap. This one looks really good. It's, it's like a croissantish uh, bakery. It's like a fig bar. It might be chocolate, strawberry, or sesame seed. I think it's hazelnut in this case. Okay. Uh, we've got a lavad, lav La Viva. La Viva, uh, which is a chocolate bar of some type. 
A waved shaped chocolate with intense biscuit hidden inside. <laughs> Caramel, which is a uh, caramel one it looks like. Some kind of uh, hazelnut uh, chocolate bar. Okay, okay. And I think this is another one. Cocoa Nut. Nut. N-A-T. Well, did, we, did we not get the Turkish Delight one? Oh no, that's this. This is the Turkish Oh, that's the Turkish Delight? Delight? Okay. So let's put all of the sweet stuff off to the side. And Cheddar and start. so good. So they said something in here how they like to mix English words in with their Turkish words so that it just really doesn't make sense, but it's fun. Let's go for Nut Party. They like to mix and match English words to create a unique name for their products. Okay. So. So, Nuts Party. Since, okay. Nuts Party. Uh, what did it say on this one for the uh, flavor? What is this? Nuts Party. I don't see it. It looks oh, like it it's is. a combination. The green one. Oh, well, it doesn't say. Nuts, popcorn kernels, and ball-shaped chips. All covered with herb oh, mix. Cheddar and, and cheddar. Sogin. Cheddar, onion, it doesn't say what Sogan is. Oh, it also has a honey mustard flavor. Okay. But it's got like corn nuts and... Peanuts and... Rice pop pops maybe? Yeah, they said... Mm. Ball shaped chips. That is really Ooh. good. That is good. That's going to get a four and a half for me. Absolutely. That is quite tasty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheddar and Sogan. All right, so now let's move on to Greta. And we want to make these uh, quick, so yeah. we apologize. There's a lot here. Yeah. All right, so. Greta is. It's like a. Olive oil. Olive something. oil cracker. Mmm. 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 I like it. I think that one really wants to have something with it. Cheese. Yeah, like a cheese or something. Oh, that halloumi cheese. But you'd have to get a good mm -hmm. flavor match for it. But that is really That's tasty. That's really good. I would give it a five. I'm going to give that a four. Okay. Because it's it's a little too much uh, flavor to be mixed, but not enough on its own. Mm. It's a little dry, but it's yeah. a cracker. Well, it's so. a, yeah, I was going to say, it's a cracker. All right, and now we're going to try sticks. crispy taco sticks. I don't see those on here. Oh, there they are. So they you know, are. They have a ketchup little... and mayo flavored one. I'm glad we oh, didn't get that. They are just like taco or uh, standard cracker sticks. Right. Oh, they do have hot cheesy. Mmm. That's good. Simple. It still has some of that sweetness that a lot of the cracker sticks have, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know the savory that you typically expect from like a cracker. I would not call that taco. No. There's a slight tint of like a taco flavor, but yeah, I would not call it taco. Mm -mm. I'm only going to give it a three, I but it, I really like it. I'll give it a three and a half. I don't love it. I'd probably eat it if it was there. Yeah, I, I could see eating handfuls of these, but it's mostly because it, it's a flavor I don't really it's associate with anything. almost sour cream and onion, but not quite. Yeah. Yeah, it has a little bit more of a sweetness than a sour cream and onion chip does. Right. I can't quite place it. I'm not sure. I'm confused yeah. by it, but it's... Yeah, it's very confusing, it's which is what though. I like about yeah. it, too. It's kind of what would make me keep eating it to figure it out. So let's move on to the uh, pizza crackers. This is going to be quite the mess to clean right. up, and so they we have, have a lot of these that we actually want to Plain or corn. Oh, they look like little hearts. Well, they're supposed to be, I think, pizza slices. Yeah, but they look like little hearts. You're only going to do one? Mm hmm I don't like it. You don't like it? I mean, I don't hate it. Very plain. It doesn't mm -hmm. taste pizza-y either. It's very plain and very, um... um yeah, there's the pizza. It's kind of like doughy. Like, you get the crispy bits of Yeah, there's crust. a little bit of the pizza. But it reminds me more of, like, the, um... um Puffy crackers like the, um... Like oyster crackers. Yeah. With a slight With a little flavor. bit of a 
seasoning. I'm giving it a three. Cheese. I mean, I don't, I don't hate it, but I don't think no, I'd ever really I'm, buy I'm it on purpose. I'm only going to give it a two and a half. It's not terrible. I wouldn't buy it on purpose. But yeah, I would not buy those. So we'll move on to the, the ukulele. Smith. Oh, Smith. 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 Smith pepper. These are the ones that are supposed to be like uh, um, sesame. Mm -hmm. So they're like sesame rings. Do not forget to eat the residue sesame seeds after you're done with the sticks. So that's what we got there. Like they remind you of a little pretzel O's. Hmm. Not what I was expecting. No. Good, but not what I was expecting. It's like those sesame sticks, but mm -hmm. dry. Yeah, the sesame bread sticks is what mm -hmm. I'm going to call mm -hmm. it. But it's not like the sesame sticks that you get in like the nut mixes. It's mm -mm. more like a sesame bread stick. Mm -hmm. And put it in a salad or needs a little butter. Or I'm going to give it like a that. four. I'm going to give it a four. But I think you're right. If you were to take those, put them on like a salad as your croutons, that would be really yummy. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to uh, move on to their version of. Uh, uh, yeah. Goldfish crackers, yeah, I think. These fish shaped crackers are fun. You'll never be this good at fishing. Do not catch too much at once. We sometimes include corn flavor version. It's either plain or corn. I'm guessing plain. Yeah, I'm going to guess plain. But they have a savory taste. No, sweet corn and savory. They have savory a lot more taste. detail than. Yeah, I'm not sure we can actually get it on camera. But they have a lot more detail well, than do. like a goldfish does. <laughs> They're cute. There's little scales. That is cute. Just like a plain cracker. And there's more flavor than an oyster. Yeah. But nowhere near as much uh, flavor as a goldfish would have. No, it's kind of like mixing an oyster cracker with a breadstick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Everything else we have is sweet. I'm going to give it a three. I give it a three and a half. Again, I it does put have this a little bit of an soup. aftertaste too. I put it in soup. Yeah, they're good soup crackers, but yeah, they're crackers. Mm -hmm. They're crackers. I wouldn't just eat them. All right, so now we're moving into our sweets, okay, and we've got the one that's the Turkish delight. It's probably going to be the sweetest. Well, I don't know. All of that looks pretty sweet. All right. I was going to say we've got. Do you like Turkish? We've got delight? chocolate and caramel. I'm not typically a chocolate or a Turkish delight fan. Uh, and this one I think we're going to have to just open up, but it's oh. like a, a sandwich, looks like an ice cream sandwich. So... With the uh, cookie on the outside and probably the Turkish Delight is the middle. It's often packaged and eaten in small cubes dusted with icing sugar or coconut dust to prevent clinging. Hmm. That's this a good is, combination. This has been known to have been produced in Turkey as early as the 1700s. And it pairs well with Turkish coffee. Mm hmm. I could see that. It's kind of like a very mm. firm. I like it much better with the biscuit. Yeah. Than by itself. But it's like a very firm, uh, like marshmallow texture. Mm hmm. Much you know, kind of fluffier spongy. than I've ever had it. I'm going to give that a four. Yeah, you give that a four. I really like that a lot. All right. We're just uh, trying to hammer through these because we got so much to do. Cat Cat Tap. This one is the one that I'm kind of curious about from uh, the look. It's a croissant-ish bakery filled with goodness. Whoa. And comes in different shapes and sizes. It has different flavors other than chocolate. These are strawberry and sesame seed. So I'm going with coconut. Well, well that's not had, one of the options. Yeah, it had like the um, oh, it looks almost hazelnuts. Like, it almost looks like halva. Oh, this is not That's doing messy. well. Oh no, it's chocolate inside. Yeah, so chocolate. Okay. So it's like a really flaky. I'm gonna bite it from here. Hmm. Mm -mm. I don't like this at all. No. I kind of like the outside part, like just this. Just the outside part reminds me of um, I forget what those things are called. You know, like they're like the twist, and they're flaky and really messy. 
I'm gonna give that a one. I don't like it at all. One. I like the outside part. I don't like the rest of it. I don't like the texture of it. It really does need to be paired with um, coffee or something. I'd be afraid that it would fall apart inside the coffee. Ooh, what are these? So these are the hobes. This is the uh, like I wafer that, cookie. Huh? We talked about it. Where? No, that's Greta. Oh, here it is. But it's a uh, wafer cookie. Has a There's little bit of like a green. Flavors. Oh, and this is actually two cookies. So okay. there we go. One for you. One for me. Okay. <laughs> you should share. You should have it with your beloved ones. Not only a cup of coffee or milk. <laughs> this might be worse. I'm giving that one a half. I do not like I the like cookie. It. Or the chocolate. And the chocolate is really not Ugh. good. Ugh. 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 I don't even want to rate it, but I'll give it a half. Yeah, likewise, it's a half. All right, so let's move on to what you'll hopefully like, which is their version of the Stroop Waffle that today. It's tiny. It's a tiny widow one. Very dense. Oh, very sticky. Very caramely inside. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Oh. Very dense, but really good flavor. I don't even think I could eat a lot of it. It's super, super sweet. I don't like the flavor of that one, nor the texture. I'm only giving you that a one, but I can see how some people would like it. I'm going to give it a three because I think it's a little bit too dense. It's way, way, way dense. All right, now we'll try the Sin. I'm going to look at the front of it. I don't see it on here either. Oh, there it is. It means genie in. Sin means genie in English. Most Turkish people have a superstition that the word sin calls for bad souls and they never use the word sin in their daily lives. Like you know who in Harry Potter series. Turkish people call sin as three letter entity replacement for C-I-N, which accounts for three letters in total. Why would they make a candy that's like evil? I don't know. But it's very, very tough to pull apart too. But it's a cookie with some orange. kind of orange like marmalade. Orange marmalade, yeah. Yeah. And then chocolate sprinkles. Huh. I'm not a fan of the chocolate sprinkles, but with the orange marmalade, it's not terrible. It's an um, interesting combo. Two. That's it. Two. I'm only tempted to give it more than two because I've been wanting those, that other orange marmalade thing, but I think it really does only deserve it two. <laughs> but uh, the orange marmalade is good. The rest of it is kind of meh. So let's move on to the, uh, the potty cake. I think that one is a um, carrot one. Some Turkish people call it the best packaged cake ever. Yeah, that's not setting expectations high. It's a little loaf. It's cute. I don't know what to think soft. of this one. It's nice and soft. Ew. But I, I don't, don't like think the it's way carrot. it smells. It's either carrot, coconut, or it could be fruit. Mm-hmm. It's like a fruit cake. I wanted it to be carrot cake. Mm-hmm. I don't think that's a very good taste. No. no. I'm going to give that a one and a half. I'm giving it a half. It was horrible. We needed more water to cleanse the palate after this oh. kind of set because this is getting that rough. Was terrible. Do you want me to get you some more water? No, we'll try to finish this up. I have green I, we're, tea. We're not even probably halfway through. Ew, I don't even want that. This. Oops, what was this called again? The uh, I, Arova? Rovo? But the uh, Coca Sauce Cake. 
When I first saw that, I thought it said I source, but it's it. sauce. But it looked like it's a lava cake. Oh, that's the one that I think is the surprise. But it doesn't have, like, actual uh, pudding or anything on it. Well, there's, it, you can see the... Mm-hmm. But it's not like a pudding inside, it's just, you know, half. No. <laughs> Zero. Yeah, big red X, reject that. Oh. All right. Oh, that's the worst chocolate cake I think I've ever had. Let's move on to the uh, um, gummy bears. Are they bears? Yeah, they're actually gummy bears. See, bears. You want to put them in your pocket to soften them up? <laughs> okay, Ferris. Hmm. They don't have a standard gummy bear taste. Very similar, but a little bit different. I'm going to give those a three and a half. Mm -hmm. There's a three and a half. I don't see the gummy bears on here. Hmm. All right, so let's move on to the uh, little burgers. The Osmo hamburger is a funny snack for both kids and adults. It's a hamburger shaped biscuit filled with chocolate cream. Ew. And I was thinking they were going to be gummies, but these are definitely not gummies. It's, you if know. you open it up, there's cheese on, side, on it. <laughs> Mine's falling apart, but this is how I usually get burgers. They're falling apart. Hmm. That's surprisingly good. It actually is. <laughs> I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to give that a four. The cookie's good. The chocolate doesn't taste bad. I can't eat much of it, but... No, too much sweet. Yeah, that's good. Mm-hmm. All right, let's move on to the chocolate ones. We'll save the Pop Rocks and other ones for the end. And now we go for the uh, La Vita. La Viva? La Viva. A new and most welcome member of the Turkish snack family. It represents the best. A wave-shaped chocolate with an intense biscuit hidden inside has been the go-for option for many snack lovers. Hope you like it too. Oof. It is a very soft chocolate. And it's like a chocolate biscuit. Yeah. Two. I'll give it a two and a half. Yeah. I don't like chocolate cookies. Yeah, if you like chocolate, that's probably not bad. But it is like a milk chocolate, I think, not a dark. I don't like the milk chocolate as much. I don't like it at all. All right, so coconut. This will crack your nut meters. Ooh. So many nuts squeeze into a bar of chocolate wafer. A quick note, turkey accounts for 73% of Global hazelnut production, and probably most hazelnuts you have eaten so far come from Turkey. Oh, it's pretty. Again, very soft. Oh, way softer than I thought. It's wafer cookie inside. Mm hmm And I'm not a hazelnut person, so... Oh, I like this one. I don't love this one. Definitely better, but I'm going to give it a two and a half, because I don't like hazelnut. I'm going to give it a three and a half. I don't love it, but I like it. All right. So now we have um, sorrel. Okay. Yeah, we're too getting much. close. Yeah, too much. Too much taste test. I don't want to do junk food for a while now. <laughs> unless it's salty. Too much sweet. Ooh, pretty. So this is like a wafer what candy again. One? The Pop sorrel. Hmm. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. Hazelnut, hazelnut, creamy hazelnut content. Yeah, I was going to say it definitely has a hazelnut. Creamier than I was expecting. Mm. I like this one. I'm only going to give that a three. I'm going to give it a four. But that's uh, the best of the bar so far. Yeah, it is. All right, and now 
we've got the uh, Carmillo, which is a chocolate and caramel, judging from the front of the package. Kind of smooth milk chocolate stuffed with caramel. It's got the little break off uh, nuggets. For being the milk chocolate caramel, it's pretty okay. good. Yeah. I'm going to give it a two and a half. I give it a three. I don't know if it's that I just don't like milk chocolate as much anymore. Or I'm getting sweeted out. Yeah, there's a lot <clears throat> of that going on. This is just way too much to try all at once. If you are going to do one of these boxes, and they are a lot of fun. I mean, we're not eating do everything, we're tasting everything, but it's way too much. All right, and now we've got the um, biscola, but, uh, biscolata. Thank you. Which are like the pocky sticks. Mm -hmm. I, still... I do not like this chocolate. Mm -mm. So, yeah, that gets a one. One. Yeah, I agree. It's might even make you want to drink some green tea where you have some tea left. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we've got these little candies. They get chewy, I think. Yeah. They go? It says you have to bite into Ooh. them. I know. I'm trying to hit them. Ooh. Okay. We translate it. If we translate his name, we will spoil the surprise. Just go ahead and try one. Surprise awaits you for the first 10 seconds as soon as mm. started chewing it. Very sour. What flavor did you get? Blue. Oh, I, got... I don't like the flavor. Oh, I can't chew it. Okay. I think it's a gum. I think you're right. Oh, and then I get sweet. I think this one's supposed to be like a blue raspberry kind of thing. I'm still not sure what this is. It won't get sweet though, but I still can't decide the flavor. But I think it's a gum. Wow, I, I agree. I kind of want to go to Google Translate and translate this. Mm hmm. Yours is supposed to be blackberry flavored. Mm. Mine is cola. That makes sense. All right. So I'm not giving that a uh, very good rating because it was too sour. I also didn't expect it to be a gum. So, you know, not very good for <laughs> that aspect. But it's not too bad. I'm going to really give it a two bad. and a half. I give it a three. The gum is way better than the, I didn't want it to be gum, but it, it's way better than the sour surprise in the beginning. All right, so final one is the Shuggy Boom. Shuggy Papios. Oh, no. Shuggy Boom. Boom. Okay. Which might be Shuggy Papios. No, it said Shuggy slash Papios. This candy has a surprise waiting for you as soon as touching your mouth. This candy does not stand your energy and starts to explode one by one. So it just looks like... Uh, Plain pop like rocks. rock candy. I think it's lemon. I don't think it's. I think it's banana. Tutti fruity. All those banana. Mm. And it's a variety flavor. of flavors. Can you hear it? Yeah, they can probably hear it. <laughs> Wherever the microphone is. Right up there. I know. I put it that way and then realized it was there. All right. So this one, I'm giving a one. Why? I like them. It, I don't like the banana taste. I do. I'm, giving, I'm still giving it a three because it, well, maybe, maybe a The three one thing half. that I'll give this is it's not as sweet mm -hmm. as most of the Pop Rocks seem to be. It doesn't taste as fake. I mean, there's no colors or preservatives. Hmm. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it for this uh, uh, box, though. A lot of fun to check it out. Yes. Not uh, much so sugar. much fun to eat, especially given... Just don't eat it all at once. Like, we tried to do it all in one, you know, half hour sitting. Yeah, don't do that. 
But check out our other videos by clicking over there. We've got a lot of stuff that isn't food related. So travel and geocaching and Legos and that kind of stuff. On this side is going to be our junk fooding playlist. So if you actually like watching us consume junk yucky food. stuff, <laughs> we got a lot more of it over there for you.